All right, today I just wanna take a moment to talk to you the proper way of checking clearances and your rotary airlock. And I just wanna go over a couple quick things with you. First off, I wanna make sure that you've got uh, proper PPE and um, they're just gonna have some safety gloves on today. Second thing I'll talk to you about is you never wanna stick your hand in the airlock. You don't wanna have your fingers where they can get pinched in here. What you wanna do is you wanna use the palm of your hand and you wanna push the vein forward so that uh, as you do this, it doesn't, your feeler gauges don't come free and you get your fingers pinched. So we're gonna use the palm of our hand as we do this. But in order to really check feeler, uh, check your gauges properly, you need to make sure that your feeler gauges are not all rusted. A lot of times you pull them out of your toolbox, they've been sitting there for a couple years and the feeler gauges will be stuck together. So you might have a six and a seven stuck together and you think you're checking and it's a six, but it's actually a 13 because the seven is rusted to the backside. So make sure you got a fresh, uh, fresh set of feeler gauges. And then as you do this, what you're looking for is you're looking for the vein to pass, pass over the feeler gauge rather easy. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sneak up on an eight thousandths and we're gonna put that in there. So I'm gonna go to an eight, okay? So we're gonna push this forward with my palm and I got solid contact. So it's not eight thousandths, so I need to back up. So I'm gonna go from an eight down to a seven. Okay, now that I'm at a seven, I'm gonna push and I'm still hitting pretty hard. Okay, so now I'm gonna go down to a six. So going down to a six thousandths, I'm gonna go, oh, it's still tight. So six isn't gonna go. So I'm gonna go down to a five. So a five, five still going through pretty hard. I can make it go, but it goes through really hard. See, that's not a good reading. That's not a good reading because what we're doing is we're forcing the rotor down. So five is not a good reading. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down one more we're gonna go down to a four. And at four thousandths, what you're gonna see, see you got a nice free feel through there. In all actuality, you've got, that's a four thousandths reading, not five. So just because you can force a feeler through there doesn't mean that's what the, what the reading is because there is play in your bearings and there is a little bit of give. Now remember a thousandths is very small. Uh, you're looking at a thickness of a piece of a hair is about three thousandths. So you want to make sure that you've got a free feel all the way through using with the palm of your hand like you've got here. Just wanted to say thank you for connecting with me and uh, wanted to make sure that you understand that I've got 20 years of problem solving experience in pneumatic conveying. I've evaluated thousands of applications and wanted you to know that if you've got a problem or you've got an application you're having issues with, connect with me here on LinkedIn or you can reach out to me on my email as well as there's additional information at rotaryairlock.com. Have a good day.